Existentialism is a way of thinking that became popular in the 1800s and 1900s and it deals with the basic questions of human existence so it asks what life means and uh, focuses on the freedom and responsibility each person has to create their own purpose and key thinkers like Kierkegaard, Friedrich Nietzsche, Jean-Paul Sartre and Albert Camus explored these ideas deeply and the basics of existentialism starts with the idea that existence comes before essence so what this means is that people are not born with a set purpose or nature instead we must find our meaning through our actions and uh, choices and this idea is different from other views that think our purpose is given to us and how are they given to us for example people might think that they are given to us through religion culture or even you know biology for example now Kierkegaard who is often called the father of um, existential, existentialism uh, believed that uh, true meaning comes from personal experience and commitment and not from detached thinking and he talked about making a leap of faith um, choosing to believe or commit to something even when it's uncertain and of course then we have people like Albert Camus who talks about the absurd and um, the human freedom and Albert Camus, he introduced the idea of the absurd and he uses it to describe the clash between our desire for meaning and the random uncaring universe. And in his book, one of his famous books, his famous novels, The Myth of Sisyphus, Camus tells the story of Sisyphus and he's basically doomed to push a boulder up a hill forever and Sisyphus's endless task represents the human condition even though his work is pointless Sisyphus finds meaning in his struggle and defiance and uh, Camus idea shows that in an absurd world we are completely free to make our own values and purposes but this freedom also brings the weight of responsibility and anxiety that of course comes with it now let's talk about being true to yourself okay because that's an that's a key idea in existentialism and what it means is to live according to yourselves uh, being true to yourself and Sartre obviously he's talked about you know this thing called bad faith which of course means lying to yourself to avoid the discomfort of total freedom so when people refuse to accept their freedom and responsibility they live a lie they don't live according to their selves they begin to lose their true selves when they refuse to accept their freedom and responsibility and for Sartre being true to yourselves means recognizing our freedom and responsibility facing the anxiety of making choices and living according to our true desires and values it's a continuous process of creating and affirming ourselves existentialism today right in this modern era of people bloody going through tiktok brain rot <clears throat> existentialist ideas are very relevant today okay as people deal with of course questions about identity purpose and being true to themselves in a very complex world you know world that moves so fast right it's very hard to 
build an identity I find in this modern era because the amount of information that we're just getting per millisecond is crazy. I mean, we're just forever changing with all these blocks of information that's coming to us, such as, you know, for example, this video you're watching right now and you can go see another video and then you can go see another one and another one and you can go read articles online and this thing in your hand, this mobile, this TV you have, it basically has every single thing, you know, it's uh, amazing. But not to go off uh, topic, sorry. <laughs> the focus on personal freedom and responsibility, of course, it challenges us to find our own way. In a world where traditional sources of meaning like, you know, religion and community may no longer be as strong. So, as I was saying, you know, in the digital age with, you know, all this social media and virtual realities, this TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, you name it, uh, bloody hell, there's so many social media apps and everything, Discord, for example. So, with all these different, different things that's just, you know, available to us, the call to being true to ourselves is even more important. You see, the perfect images and stories we see online can, of course, make us feel disconnected and, of course, fake. And existentialism asks us to consider what it means to live a real and meaningful life. Because, of course, online um, you can lie quite easily. There's so many images you can send and you can download and send and you can create a whole life. You can live a double life online and no one can find out practically, you know. You can be whatever you want. You know, that's one beauty of the digital age that we live in and also a curse. But I think it's important and I think it's much more better if we live a real and meaningful life online, offline as well. Okay, if we are true to ourselves, I think it's much more better. I think people like us better when we are true to ourselves. Okay, when we are more kind, polite, uh, more genuine, more understanding. And, you know, when they can relate to us better, I think they like us better. Anyway, coming to a conclusion. So existentialism, of course, it confronts the idea that life might be meaningless by asserting our freedom and responsibility to, of course, create our own meaning. And it challenges us to live according to our true selves, to embrace our freedom and, of course, the anxiety that comes with it. Through existentialist thinking, um, we are, of course, encouraged to face life's big questions, to embrace our freedom, to live with integrity and to live according to our true selves. You know, even in a world that often seems random and without inherent meaning, even if it seems mundane and re repetitive and futile, I think it's very important that we embrace the freedom we have, the suffering that comes, the hardships, because that's all a part of life. And in a time when finding meaning is more important than ever, existentialism offers a valuable way to understand and deal with the complexities of being, well, human right? You're all human, I believe. I mean, do drop a comment because I can't believe you're all human. You know, I have like 1,000 subscribers now and it's kind of, you know, I can't believe all of you exist. You know, I'm just uh, philosophically inclined like that. I have a big uh, existential crisis when I think about it. Wow, 1,000 subscribers, 1,000 people. Bloody hell. Now, you know, but <laughs> existentialism, of course, it encourages us to face our existential questions directly um, to embrace our freedom to live truly and honestly in a world 
that might not give us clear answers right so uh, if you if you like this podcast if you like what you heard uh, do consider subscribing and please guys say hello to me in the comment section i want to know more about you guys uh, who where you're from you know how you all are so please do leave a comment your thoughts on the video especially uh, i find that important for myself and yeah hopefully uh, i'll catch you on the catch you again uh, next time whenever i upload something and uh, take care of yourselves okay and embrace your freedom and remember that hardships are always inherent in life and we must stay strong and remember you're free and that there's many paths to take to get to the place where you want to be so you guys take care and i'll meet you soon i love you all thank you so much